Hi, this is Julie for Beetaholic, and I'm going to show you how to make a cuff link that looks like it's been enameled. This is one of my favorite projects I've done in a long time. Uh, so I have this cuff link bezel, which is this right here, and I've taken a little pirate charm. I've snipped off the loop, and then I've painted the back of my bezel black and then filled it with resin so it has this great old enameled look. And I think that it just pops. So I love this project and it's not hard to do. The tools you're going to need is a pair of really good flush cutters, something that's going to allow you to snip off the loop of the charm. Then you're also going to need a paintbrush. You're going to need a stir stick, a measuring cup. It's got little measurements on the side. And then you're also going to need some resin. I'm going to use ice resin. I really like how it domes, which is what I'm going to need for this project. I'm also going to be using Vintage Metal Patinas in Onyx. And then I need these two little spools of wire. Now these can be anything that you have around the house that is going to allow you to place your cuff link across them so that when the resin is drying, it can stay in an upright position for at least overnight. So to begin, we are going to take some of the Vintage Onyx Patina, which is basically black, Put it on a little plastic bag just so that we don't make too much of a mess. And we're just going to paint the interior surface of the bezel, the cufflink bezel. And I'm going to paint all the walls as well as the back. So we don't want any silver to show. Then I'm going to go around the top and just make sure I paint that top lip as well. And then if some spills over while it's still wet, just take your finger. You can just wipe it away. Okay, so I've got the first coat done. This is going to take two coats because I don't want any of the silver showing. And right now you can see I have some streaks. So I'm just going to place it on my little platform, let that dry for about 15 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and do my second coat of paint. Time for our second coat of black paint. Same process as before, just you're painting a second coat so that you don't show these streak marks. We're good. We're just going to let this dry now for about 15-20 minutes and then we're going to go ahead and place our little pirate in the middle, glue him down, let him dry, and then we can go ahead and do the resin. Now we need to go ahead and put our little pirate charm into our bezel setting. If you're doing two of these, make sure that they're the same orientation, which they are. Now I have a really nice pair of flush cutters here and I just want to be able to snip off my loop. So right up against the top of the head of the pirate charm or whatever charm you're using, just make a nice clean cut and do that on the other side as well. Now if there's any rough edges, go back in with your flush cutters and just trim it up. The beauty of this is you're going to be setting this guy down into the cuff link, which has a nice depth to it. So you're not going to see those little silver edges where the pewter is showing through. So we're going to take some E6000 which is a great glue. I just have a little piece of wire as an applicator. Just going to grab some glue on the tip of my wire, flip my charm over, place the glue on the back. You don't need a lot of glue. We're going to flip it over and set him down in the center of our bezel. Okay, return him to whatever platform you have that you're using to keep it upright while it's drying and let him dry for a couple hours before you apply the resin. It's now time to add our resin to our cufflink. 
To do so, I'm using ice resin because I like how it domes. I have a little measuring cup here and a stir stick. It's a one ounce cup, and I'm gonna fill it with half an ounce of part B, the hardener, and half an ounce of part A, the resin. Be careful with your measuring. The exact measurements are really important for the resin to cure properly. Once you've measured equal amounts, you're going to stir it for approximately two minutes until all striations are gone, and then you're going to let your resin rest for five minutes before you pour it into your bezel setting. When you pour your resin, you're going to want to be really careful with it. So you're going to want to keep your cuff link on a level field, and here I just have, again, balance between my two spools of wire. And this is going to be the trickiest part. You're going to very carefully pick up some resin on your stir stick and little by little you're going to drip it into the bezel going over the top of your pirate charm. Do not rush this process because you don't want to overfill your bezel and have your dome collapse. So we're just going to go very slowly and let it spread out to the sides. Our goal is to cover the entire pirate or just have the tiniest little bit of his head sticking out of the resin. So once you think you're almost there, take a step back and look at it from the side. So I'm gonna actually, you can't see this on camera, but I'm gonna hunch down and I'm gonna look at it so I'm eye level right here to see how high my dome is and see how much of my pirate is still sticking out of the resin. All right, I can tell I have a little ways to go. Not much though. I'm gonna do one drop. Ah, I got some on my beading mat. Uh, I'm going to do one drop. I'm going to take another look at it at eye level and see if I need to add any more. All right, and I can tell I need not even a full drop. I just need a little tiny, tiny dribble. So that's going to be too much. There we go. And I'm going to call that good because I do not want that dome to collapse. So I'm gonna let that sit. If I need to, I can take a little torch or a barbecue lighter to the top of the resin and get rid of any bubbles. I actually think I'm gonna be okay and not have any bubbles on this one. You can also try getting up really close and breathing hot breath onto the resin. You don't wanna blow the resin, but just you can let out like a, like a hot breath and that will sometimes pop those bubbles as well. Of course, don't touch your lips to the resin, don't get anywhere near touching it, but just breathe on it where it's that heavy hot breath and that will sometimes pop those bubbles as well. Once you're happy with it, you're just going to let this cure and then you'll be ready to wear your fun new pair of pirate cufflinks.